Hello, how you doing? It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. It's currently raining where I'm at, but it's okay, you know, I'm still living life, still enjoying my life, still enjoying my day, and and uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's a good day. It's a good time, you know. So you want to travel. Traveling is such a cool way to find yourself. So I'm going to share with you some tips that I've learned over the years for traveling and how to make it how to make it possible, pretty much. Number one, save as much money as you can to prepare to travel, okay? If you're like me, you're working 9 to 5 job, save your money. Don't go out on the weekend. Don't spend it on going out to eat or random things you don't need, you know, save your money and spend only what you need when you're trying to travel because it'll make it so much easier just to, just to do it, you know? So yeah, save your money. Tip number two, when you're looking to travel somewhere, always find the cheapest places to stay and the cheapest airlines if you're flying. You know, a lot of times people will always think they have to have the nicest hotel in order to sleep there. You really don't. I mean, you just need a bed, right? A lot of people do Airbnb. I've done Airbnb before. Um, It's a good way to, you know, not spend as much money, but it comes at, you know, a little bit of a risk if you're not really a people person, if you don't really feel comfortable with that. But um, Airbnbs, even motels. You know, stay at a motel. Who cares? You know, like just it's just a night. You're staying the night. It's not like you're spending the time there. So when you're looking, look for cheap places to stay, cheaper airlines, and also cheaper times to go on trips. You know, me and my girlfriend this past year went to China and we went there um, in April, which was the cheapest time to go, we found out. Um... I'm not sure why, but it just it just overall throughout the whole year from our area to fly there, it was the cheapest. And we decided to go then, obviously. So look for places um, to stay that are cheap. Tip number three, travel anywhere. Doesn't have to be this grand adventure across the world, but, you know, travel where you can. And even if you go on a day trip somewhere, like a few hours out of your state or city, whatever, do that, you know, that's still traveling. That's still traveling. And I've done many times where I would just go for a day hike two hours away. And that's still traveling. I mean, it's not leaving the state or whatever, but it's still, you're still getting that experience. And uh, yeah, just travel, travel as much as you can, dude, really. Um... I mean, that, like I said, that didn't really cost a lot of money. I just spent money on gas and food, and that's about it, you know, and I just, that's about it. So, so yeah, it's simple. Tip number four, travel with people. If you want to spend the least amount of money as possible, travel with friends, travel with family, travel with spouses, loved ones, because obviously the cost will be split in half or split in thirds or fourths, obviously, you know, the more people you have, so, um... I mean, I get it. If you're like me, I love to travel alone a lot of times, so I don't, you know, I understand how you feel if you like to travel alone as well. Um, but, you know, that's just one way to save money is to travel with people. The cool thing about traveling, especially to a different uh, country, is that it, it really does change you as a person. I grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania, and the mindset here is very different than a different country, for example, China, or even different states. But it's like, once you do that, and you experience life in a new country, it really does change your perspective on the world. And it, it helps you grow as a person overall. And it's, it, I don't know, it's just, it's, it, it's, it's a cool experience. We were in China for a week. And we visited the Great Wall and other different historic sites in China. And it's just, what I've experienced is that 
at least there, and uh, it's just, like, I don't know, we would, we would walk down the street, people would say hi to us, people would, well, people would literally stop and ask us how we were doing, and if we needed help getting around, and it's like, I don't know, it was just, it was nice to feel that, and even, I've traveled to other states, and it's just a different experience, you know, people are different, and uh, in my in my area, um, in my area, it's a lot of older people um, who just don't really understand um, people my age. And for do you doing YouTube, for example, they would think that it's a waste of time and it's not important. Um, but put the warm. put the windows down. Just a little warm. But, you know, and that's why it's so important to travel is to get away from all that negativity and just be yourself and be happy with who you are and just, and try new things. You know, that's what I'm learning in my life. Try new things every day. The only way to change is to put yourself in situations that make you afraid, right? So for me, like I said, I'm from a small town and... My girlfriend actually is from the Philippines, and she lives here now, but she's used to all that traveling. You know, she moved here when she was a little girl, and uh, she's used to traveling internationally back and forth. She's been to the Philippines multiple times, and it's just for me, I've always, you know, I traveled as a kid. I We went to, like, um, different states surrounding my state, but... You know, I just never really thought I would travel out of the country, and that's not who I not who I thought I was. But I realized, you know, like the reason I didn't think that was because I was always raised that way. You know, I was raised to never really think about traveling or never think about different countries, and always kind of focus on myself and my own area. And I was my parents never really instilled that in me, and that's that's fine. You know, it's not a, not a bad thing, but it's just like um, traveling is very important for your character and your and your person you know it really is and uh it's just i don't know i feel like i i've i've, I've grown you know and it's just it's such a cool feeling to say that oh yeah i've been to china i've been to canada um that's it we're so far but i'm gonna i'm gonna travel more in the future you know i plan on it um it's, it's just, I don't know, it's a great feeling. And, uh, yeah, it's nice. I want to also share with you some tips for traveling alone, because like I said, I have I like to travel alone myself, and um, it can be scary, you know? Especially for young people, especially for maybe women who are afraid to travel alone and for the safety, uh, you know, thing. But, um, but yeah, so tips for traveling alone one trip or one tip is to um be prepared okay research everything about where you're going research where you're staying research what uh places are, are nearby hospitals police stations um just research the area if it's safe or not uh be prepared bring everything you think you need to be prepared um medicine especially if you take medication um i mean you can't really bring like you know firearms or weapons um on a plane but um just bring things you think would help you be prepared like um extra clothes if it's uh cold wherever you're going um yeah always let your family know where you're going and what you're where you're staying Friends, if you don't really have family, you know, anyone, anyone who you're close to, let them know where you're going. So in case anything happens, um, always bring, you know, food, water, etc. stuff like that. Uh, the basic stuff, you know. But I think the most important is always make sure you know where you're at and you know your surroundings. Of course, bring extra phone chargers and all that stuff, but always make sure you know your area. Especially if it's a different country. Um, download apps that will help you. We, when we went to China, we downloaded multiple apps that you know translated our words because a lot of times we had trouble communicating with people in china um we downloaded uh apps kind of like uber and lyft but it was the chinese version 
Um, just different things. You learn. You know, you learn as you travel. That's the cool thing, you know, especially different countries. Um, you feel more comfortable when you do that. Kind of a pro tip that I've learned is to try to make friends um, or at least acquaintances with people you meet traveling. We met, we uh, made a couple friends in China um, who gave us tips on where to go and the best times to go um, and different places to see and it's and we got that you know um uh we got that tip from people who know the area and just try your best to be friendly and nice to people and for the most part they'll treat you nice and they'll help you out the guy at the uh who worked at the hotel that we we're staying at he recommended uh a pretty much our whole trip we we listened to what he would say and where to go, best times to go. He got us good deals when we went to the Great Wall of China. And um, yeah, just just ask around, ask questions to people. And as long as you're nice and friendly and approachable, then it'll be fine. You know, but if you wanna have the best experience, make friends and talk to people and get out of your comfort zone. Don't just walk around and do your own thing. That's not how it works, you know? You gotta put yourself out there and uh, yeah, if you do that, you're not going to regret it. People are so cool, dude, in China especially. Um, but, yeah, make friends. Be social, and that'll benefit you. Another tip when traveling alone is to start off, if you're new to traveling, solo traveling, uh, travel somewhere local in your area first. Um, maybe an hour away, two hours away, and just see how that goes. See how you do with that. I mean, you're not going to want to go to freaking Amsterdam on your first solo trip um, for like three weeks. You know, that's not, I mean, you could do that. That's that you could do that if you want, but um, you'd probably be a little scared, a little nervous, especially if you're young. Um, so travel within your state, within a couple states near you. Um, if you're different countries, travel just in your area, you know, and get a feel for it and just see how you do. Um, talk to people, ask questions, don't be afraid to ask questions. Years ago, I used to travel to Philly a lot because my girlfriend went to school there and we used to spend a couple days together and I was just, I remember feeling so damn nervous because at the time I was like 19, 20 and I haven't traveled, I haven't um, experienced that before. And I remember getting like going around downtown at nighttime in Philly, like on the weekend, and I was so scared. Just I was like, oh my God, is someone gonna try to jump me? Am I gonna make money stolen? And like, is someone gonna try to take my girlfriend? And it's just like, again, that's the mindset that I was in back then. And sure, there are dangers in the world and in Philly, for example, but you can't focus on that, you know? But my mind was just like, damn, like my mind was always in uh, protection mode, um, trying to protect my girlfriend and myself and just always, I'm always, I'm always, always on guard and it's just, you can't live like that, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's smart to be safe and, and, and always watch out for your girlfriend and yourself, but it's like, don't do that, you know? Don't make that the focus. And I, when I went to China, uh, this past year, I was such in a different mindset and of course I was always worried that not really not really worried I was always like aware that there were dangers but I didn't let it affect me you know we would walk around at nighttime in the city and it's like I don't I didn't really care because I knew that you know I was prepared and I knew what I was doing and that's all that mattered you know so it's like don't be afraid and don't think the worst is going to happen because honestly it probably won't there are dangers but you can't let that be your focus because it'll make your trip horrible it really will it really will you know but as long as you're prepared and as long as you know what you're doing then you'll be all right yeah i hope you liked the video um i hope my tips were helpful anyway i hope you enjoyed my experiences and me talking about my stories and uh, let me know. Let me know where have you where you've been and where you plan on going. And uh, yeah, we'll share stories. You know, it's just cool. It's just fun. So, hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.